Oh boy. God damn it. Katiana Rook. Escape during a hunt. Repel. Prevent crucifix. Space temp. I don't know if this is light or heavy ran. Space temp is like 10. Oh, that was weird. Coldest, but it's probably still too early. Point five. Tori, how's it going? Hope you had fun at TwitchCon. Always colder. Interesting. I can imagine it was tiring. Cons usually be tiring. been to one in god knows how long like e3 if you want to include that like 2017 and that was a uh, one a one day thing and that was tiring yes yeah, it's, it's it, multiple reasons why i couldn't make it too far of a drive for a one day thing uh no money plus i got a lot of other other shit going on at the moment We're at like 92. We should be finally moving back into the house. Friday. Uh, that looks like a side room, kitchen area. I think. I don't recognize that straight off the bat. Jeer! How's it going, buddy? 5.5 is here. This seems I mean these cabinets look look like it unless there's another room with those cabinets I don't know 6.0 that yeah, there we go oh EMF 5 baby let's go now we got cold breath in here good it's like right next to the uh, the thingy thing
And Spectrum's already deep dicking us. They were uh, supposed to come by on Thursday to set up the internet at the house, so we would move in and there would be internet immediately. Uh, and then they tell us today that I guess they want to reuse the same equipment that's here at Bobby Boyer, the, the rental place. So they're not going to be coming by until Saturday, so... Good thing I preemptively planned to uh, do one final stream at midnight on Friday night here at the rental. Just a short, fast stream. Because I wanted to keep the streak alive. Because I had a feeling stupid shit would happen. <coughs> But I wasn't necessarily expecting Spectrum, I was just expecting complications of getting everything set up after the move. No fingies, but then again, I was possibly late to the party. Point three. Although the lack of internet for a full day is going to suck immensely, but whatever. As long as they <coughs> swing by early enough on Saturday, should be able to, and everything's hooked up properly, should be able to keep the streak alive and then still do host goon flicks. Yeah, tragic. Spirit Wraith and Twins, huh? What are we dealing with? No ultraviolet. Ghost rating. Freezing temps. Okay, so it's dots, huh? Isn't there a cleanse? No. It's my... Yeah, okay. We're good. I'll just bring another book for double chance to sign. <coughs> Although... I'll see if I can make that final stream here from the rental special. A special fast stream. Oh. But I don't gotta waste no salt now, do I? I just saw you. You cheeky whore! I should get a camera. Did I really drop my light? Apparently I did. Uh, whatever. We will, uh, we already know it's a wraith. The other objectives are a bit of a pain in the ass. So we'll just take a, ca a photo of that and then dip. So we'll see. I'm gonna look at how to do something. And if I can, that'll be that'll be neat. Wait, no, yeah, we're leaving. Okay, ninety-four percent. Fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's crank out as many as I can within an hour. We've arrived. Check the equipment. 
which is why I like Tanglewood a lot. Simple, fast, to the point. I know where everything is. Motion sensor, cleanse, average sanity. Easy. First try, easy. I just heard a noise, and I also just realized I forgot to look where the breaker is. Oh, it's not here. <laughs> and there's no voodoo. Okay. No Waluigi, no summoning sign. It's a monkey's paw. Point three, ten point seven, seven, eleven point two, six point five. I think he's in here. So the other thing too with uh, Tanglewood is because it's a small map. Although that's seven point nine. Let's not get too hasty. Uh. I'm doing it on pro. Sanity drains much faster. 10.4. 10.2. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay, so the ghost is following me. That's good. Uh, wow, just from being in there for two minutes, and that one event really, uh, really fucked me. Oh, hi, Sarah. Pop pills just in case. I guess I can throw... Point nine, although it did immediately when I was in here. Ten point seven, yeah. Yeah, it's just following me. I don't know why it broke the light. What a what a prick. You a living room ghost? Eight point oh, so the ghost might have been in there. No, this is as if I, I needed any confirmation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. <sighs> no! Sarah, who gave you a headache? Let me add him. We have Orbulons. We'll give you a headache, Sarah. Let me add him. Listen here, work. Still could also be a mimic. That sounds no fun, waking up early. I also ac accidentally woke up early today. Generally, I've been trying to um, not sleep in any later than 11 a.m. Otherwise, I'll feel like a complete piece of shit. I'd prefer to do it wake up earlier, but like when I try to wake up in the morning at this point, because I've been staying up too late. I just am super. Oh, hi. Hello. 
I don't have a camera, so you're very impressive. Turn? Oh no, it just turned off the light. that orb go? Did the piece of shit change rooms on me? I mean, it's still making noise in there. So, I would assume not. Unless it's just wandering around like crazy. <coughs> Hard to say. That was a brief blurb, but also it kicked the book, so it's not writing. Can't be an Oni. Can't be a Wraith. Can't be a Mare, but it does like turning off lights. Wait a minute. Okay, Mimic is still on the table. I'd prefer to, like, get up around 8 or 9 a.m., but... Just been... It's, it's hard. Today, I think I, I think it was six or seven when I woke up. Oh, we have dots. Banshee, Yure, Yokai, and Araiju. It turned out to be beneficial, though, because I was able to take some stuff over to the house. I did see dots, right? Ultraviolet's Banshee, but I'm not getting that. EMF would be Raiju. Freezing Temps is Yurei. Spirit Box is Yokai. EMF 2. Good, we got the ghost. Are you kidding me? How is that a two star? How is that a fucking two star? I'm right on top of it. Whatever, you piece of shit. Okay, we can't afford any more foul ups photo wise. Okay, I feel safe ruling out EMF or U uh, the fucking UV. Taking a pack. It's a yokai. <coughs> Take it horrific. Tateronimo. Tate. Curious. Cleanse average. Okay, so I'm not gonna pop pills then. Oh, it's going. How about you, Tater? 
Yeah, I wanted to bring more salt in. Can you fuck off? Clingy bitch. I too have been packing. I gotta finish it. I've been putting it off a little bit. We're finally moving back into the actual, uh, the house. It's fully repaired and whatnot. <clears throat> so, I will no longer be in the rental as of this Friday. This thing is pissy, dude. Thanks, Tater. Alright, good. All set up there. Uh, you know, that might be a little too close for comfort. But that we can't do. There we can. Don't apologize for bad spelling. That's what the internet's for, baby. It's better than a lot of people on the internet. I can at least have a vague understanding, or a complete understanding as to what you're trying to say. There's a lot of people who, who, who just use too many abbreviations, I'm like, the fuck? I'm sure about it, Tater. Oh, good. Well, that'll make losing sanity faster. Should move that flashlight. Yeah, hi. You're very impressive. What a prick. My sanity at 45. Okay, so it's going to try hunting relatively soon. You know, knowing my luck, the stupid ghost is going to. Was that a, already a hunt? Yes, it was. Alright, good to know. Uh, I don't remember where the breaker is. I think it's in the basement. I'm going to flip that on. God, I have not seen a ghost this active in a while. Oh shit. Oh no, it's not hunting. It bamboozled.
It'll be weird. Being back in the house. Yep, there's the second hunt. Hey, we got it. All right, cool. Leave it for a yokai. It's like the most aggressive yokai I've seen in a while. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Beautiful. The perfect game. Garage. I hope you have a safe flight back to uh, to, to Norway, Tater. And I hope you had fun on your vacation. Good, I'm glad. If it wasn't fun, I would cry. You don't want me to cry, do you? <sighs> Nothing there. Why is there a question mark? <laughs> you don't know if you want me to cry or not? <laughs> Look at it, it's a monkey paw again. So what were the objectives again? Cleanse, escape, photo. Good, there's the bonaire. Okay, so the ghost has got to be at the front of the house then, yeah? Was it colder? Holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Is this your room? No? Alright. Oh. Around here. 21.5. Oh, you're in the you're a garage ghost, okay. A lot of shit, Tater. I mean, I know you're you're upset that that Norway doesn't have eggnog, but I don't know if you need to bring a hundred pounds of eggnog back. But you do you. What retro? Oh, hey, we have the uh, orbs. What retro consoles? If I had to guess, I would say your N64 is one of them. Hey. I'm assuming you're going to get some sort of power converter. Given, uh... Unless that's no longer a thing. Given that PAL is uh, on different, uh, different, different electricity, you're leaving the GC. Oh my God!
I can only imagine how how much of a pain in the ass that's going to be. Dragging, dragging all that shit onto a plane. I hope nothing goes wrong. Not one thing. It's not comparable of a distance or the amount of stuff, but my desk, bed, and computer are gonna be a pain in the ass to lug over there to the to the normal house on uh, Friday. The reason why the computer is going to be a pain in the ass is because the tower is really fucking heavy. Granted, the you know the house is only a couple blocks away, but oh, we have writing. Not mimic, ghost orbs. Will not be ultraviolet. Freezing temps is rev. EMF no. Thoughts to stay or spirit box. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Uh, I I believe we're hiring people to uh bring the heavier stuff over. So that that that's gonna be good. Cause I can assure you, it would not be fun. The, the computer tower is like 50 pounds. The desk I don't think is too heavy. I don't know how they're... But it is like... It's a corner desk, so I don't know how they're going to bring that. Like if, if they're going to try to disassemble it and then reassemble it or what. The bed is something that's also going to be a pain in the ass. The frame itself is is really light and it's actually easy to disassemble and reassemble. But the mattress is like a fucking hundred pounds. It's absurd. Ooh, glass desk. That's fancy. Yeah, I had no idea that the mattress would be that fucking heavy. <laughs> I was I was I was shocked at how light the frame was and how easy it was to assemble. Meanwhile, like oh yeah, the office my chair as well is going is is heavy and cumbersome. But at least it's, you know, on wheels and shit like that, right? Okay. I don't know if it's springs. I don't know what Helix made makes their mattress out of it. Maybe it's springs. I don't know. I I wound up buying my own bed through that company Helix, which you might see on like various YouTubers streams or whatever. Uh because every single one is like, oh, you know, we got a promo code that'll give you a percentage off and blah 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 blah. I was like, that's cool. I like having... Having a percentage off. The mattress, the, the bed purchase. So I, uh, I just went with that. I don't need to drop a letter.
And then I use that uh, that stupid honey plugin to to get an even better deal. It's nice. I wanted to get some extra sheets and pillows from them, but that shit's pricey, my guy. So I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Not anytime soon. Not until I get employed again. I can save up some spare scratch. Basically, I'm gonna be, right now I'm doing the whole, uh, classic, uh, try to get hunted, and then we can figure out what the ghost does. A lot of people do. I don't know where I would have shopped if it wasn't for Helix, to be honest, because I have never purchased my own bed before. The frame that I was using uh, before the fire was this super old uh, kind of falling apart wooden trundle bed frame. Uh, that was not ideal. Uh, the mattress was newer. Only a few years old. Or less than ten years old. Uh, I didn't really use it all that much though. The bed, I mean. That should be good. Now we wait to get hunted. I only, I only chose Helix because I had seen so many ads for it. And I was like, oh, well, YouTuber discount price thing. Why not? Save some money. And yeah, you know, it was a comf it's a comfy ass bed. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger one. I don't know. Uh, pillows were comfy. They came with it. Sheets are nice and silky and smooth. It's not silk, but it's like some 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 fabric. I forgot, forgot what it's called. It's good shit. Good quality material from from my experience. Hey Helix, sponsor me. I need money. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you change rooms, you piece of shit? Are you in my hall? Are you wandering? Okay, it hit the breaker. I don't think it's a Thay, otherwise it would be a very passive Thay. I wasn't getting spirit box. I want to say it's probably a Rev. Yeah, they do that, dude. The assholes. But I'm trying to get hunted, so... Uh I can just tell by the footsteps. <clears throat> Although since the closet I'm hiding in is like right next to the garage, the crucifix may prevent the hunt. But also, I uh, have the crucifix near me. Oh, hey, there we go. Revenant. Yeah, it's a rev.
You hear its footsteps? That's how. Like, did you hear the stomping? I don't know if it was getting picked up enough. So basically, a rev, uh, when they do not have line of sight on a player, they're very, 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 very slow. Um, and you can either tell that by looking at them, uh, which can be difficult because camera distorts uh, when ghosts are on screen. And usually if you can see the ghost, the ghost can see you. Um, or by at least in this newer, the newer versions of Faz, uh, listening to the sound of the ghost's footsteps. Uh, that said, if the go if a rev has line of sight on you, it's one of the fastest ghosts in the game. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. If the ghost sounded super fast from the get-go, it would have been a thay. And if it sounded normal, it would have been a mare. Because mares, uh, mares, uh, aren't fast. I mean, all ghosts speed up when they have line of sight on you. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But I get it, you know, they want the, they want there to be that tension and whatnot. Uh, but if you're hiding and you're nearby the ghost and you can hear its footsteps, uh, it's a good way to indicate what the ghost is. If you're savvy enough. Yeah. Yeah, because the Revenant makes different footstep noises than, than a Thay or a Mare. I think it's the only ghost in the game that has that slow of footsteps, I think. I don't know, it's been a hot minute. It takes a lot of games and a lot of uh, watching YouTube videos. I'm not as super adept at like being able to distinguish footsteps and whatnot uh, for for the different speeds I can just tell if okay if it's fast or slow or normal usually anyway uh, well the ghost is different is was around here it might be following me it's hard to say um but usually I can I can I can determine the difference. That said if you increase the speed of the ghost like through custom, okay, I think it's utility room ghost. Uh through custom contracts or decrease the speed of the ghost, uh, I I can't tell the difference. I've 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 done my best to study and listen to it and it's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> well, that's that's one of the beauty, the beautiful things about Phasmophobia, Tater. <clears throat> one of the reasons why I like it is the fact that there's a variety of different tells in the game. Man, this thing is going haywire. Uh, that allow you to identify a ghost without even collecting a, a single piece of evidence. Hey, we got orbs. If you're, if you pay attention enough and you familiar yourself with the uh, mechanics enough. I'm pretty rusty on some of them. Uh, and some ghosts are a bit harder to identify without evidence than others. Like for example, if you start a if you start a hunt uh, or start a contract, and you open the door, and you walk in, and within the first minute or so, you're you, there's a hunt going on, right? High, 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 high probability it's a fucking demon. 
Because the demon has has an ability that allows it to hunt whatever the fuck it wants. Now, it could also be a mimic. Impersonating a demon. But still. Uh, Poltergeist has an ability where it's kind of like able to... Um, fuck with a whole bunch of different objects simultaneously. Like, like cause like... If you have like a pile of objects, you can like yeet them all at the same time. Like, is it a little object explosion? Onryo, um... If the candle goes out, and a uh, crucifix is burned, or it tries to hunt... Uh, yeah, then it's an Onryo. Uh, if it's a yokai, uh, the tell is that uh, you were on open mic next to the ghost. Either by, you know, like... Push to talk or just open in general. Because yokai, yokai don't like people talking to it. In a tragic. Okay. We have spirit box. Speak of the devil. Onryo, yokai, mare, or mimic. So what would we be doing with EMF? No. Hold on, let me double check what what a mimic is. Mimic is ultraviolet and freezing temps. Okay. No EMF. If I get ultraviolet, then it's a mimic. If I get ghost riding, it's a mare. If I get freezing temps, it's an onrail or a mimic. And if I get dots, it's a yokai. So what's my sanity at right now? 84? Okay. Uh, let's be smart about this. I don't need the camera. Like a yokai, it don't like no, uh, it don't like no flames. Not seeing any ultraviolet. I mean, it hypothetically could be hiding it. I think I just saw dots. I'm pretty sure I just saw dots. Uh, well, there's one way to find out. Right. Yeah, no, that was definitely dots. Okay, I don't need to. It's a yokai. Although, just just for the the, the sake of display, butater. Okay. Hey, you're a punk ass bitch. Asshole, motherfucker. My sanity might not be low enough. You're a piece of shit! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, see? There's all sorts of little little things that you could do to identify what the ghost is. Uh, sanity also plays a big part. Although if you if you're playing with a broken sanity board, then uh, you know you're kind of shit out of luck in that regard, there, buddy. Um, I didn't get the bone, did I? No, I didn't get nothing. Like, there's all sorts of things that can help you narrow down a ghost without actually getting evidence. And that's one of the reasons why I like Faz. It doesn't overcomplicate shit, which is what a lot of the Faz clones try to do. So 
the gameplay loop is 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 simple and rewarding, but also has depth to it. Like I know there's like super 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 big brain players uh, like in Sim and Psycho who are have a much easier time figuring out shit than me, uh, but you know they still seem to like it. I find Faz to be, bro. What are you doing? I find Faz to be very uh, calming. It's sort of my comfort game. It's very therapeutic. I can just kind of concentrate on figuring out what the ghost is and all that fun shit. Oh no, voodoo doll. Is it tarot? Yeah, it's tarot. Another another easy tell is if you take a picture of the ghost and it just and the ghost is like you have a ghost photo, but there's no ghost in the photo. Uh, it's a phantom. Uh, if you lay down salt and uh, you're you're sure the ghost would have walked through the salt, but it did not walk through the salt. It's a wraith. Uh, what else is there? Um. Shade is super low sanity percentage. Thay is a super fast boy. Degen is also a super fast boy, but they also know where you are at all times. And if the ghost like immediately makes a beeline for you, but then slows the fuck down right when it gets up close to you, it's a degen. Raiju, its speed fluctuates based on if there's electronics nearby. Hantu's speed fluctuates based on the room temperature. Uh, I think it's Gorio. Gorio's is the one where... No, it's the Obake. Obake. Obake can sometimes leave a six-digit fingerprint. Uh, Gorio... It's dots evidence, but it will... Only show itself on dots if you are not in the room with it. I think I got time for one more. So you have to see it through camera only, or you're like standing directly outside the room. I don't remember all the other tells. Spirit's kind of like the most basic bitch ghost, uh, but also from my experience, it's usually the most aggro. It's not supposed to be a thing, like, it's not like an intentional tell, it's just. That's my luck. Spirit, um, if you smudge it, it can't hunt for like three minutes, I think. Normally, uh, smudge buys you 90 seconds. Unless it's a demon, then you only have 60. Because a demon don't give a fuck. Uh, the nice thing too, though, is with a demon, the crucifix has a wider area of effect. Because normally the crucifix is only effective up to 5 meters. Uh, but with a demon, it is 7 meters. Which is nice. You're a little safer. But demon is also kind of an asshole. Demon likes to hunt. Like, like, whoa. Like, whoa, tater. Like, well, oh good, we have tarot again. Lovely. It's really funny, too, thinking back to how Faz used to be. And all the, like, I, w I really would like to revisit old Faz if I can get a way to, to set it up on the computer. I know it's, uh, it's, it's, it's its own process and everything like that. Um... But like the tells and the behavior were quite different. You did. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? EMF four. Wow, what a prick. Okay, good. That good to know that you're here. You bought it at. That's why I made the eggnog joke. That you bought a hundred pounds of eggnog. And we're bringing it back to Norway, because you got your eggnog for uh, Goonflix. I was very jealous that 
a Costco by you is selling eggnog in September? Well, fuck the checkout lady. I'm good, we have fingerprints. Basically, Gina, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the tail end of the stream. I'm pretty sure in a couple years, you won't start seeing Christmas adverts in like July or June. I hate it. Six. Like, I even know that some some TV stations and some radio stations start playing Christmas stuff at the start of November, sometimes even on October. I'm like, no, fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. I will accept playing Christmas stuff, Christmas music, or... Uh, that, actually, that was an EMF-5 briefly. Uh, I will accept playing Christmas stuff at Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving. Anything beforehand, you can get fucked. Eggnog should be all year round. I don't under I, I never understood as a wee baby boy why eggnog was uh restricted. It was very silly. I don't like it. What do we got? Ghost writing is a miling, freezing temps is a gin, no spirit box, dots, orbs. There you go. Yeah, that's three. Point six still. Yeah, confirmed EMF5. What, Tater? I have to bring a candle in there. There you go. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin spice latte. Then again, I'm not a fan of pumpkin, so... Alright, fuck you, I'm taking your blocks. Oh, you wanna be a- you wanna- you wanna be a- oh, you're right, you, you- you were a bitch and you destroyed the light in here. You wanna be a bitch? Did you get her a can of pumpkin? Yeah, hey, thanks for the photo. Oh, does your sister, uh, your sister lives in Norway as well? I thought she was in the States. 
and you were visiting her. This ghost is a bitch. Did I even find no, I did not find the bone. Oh, okay. Okay, it is not writing. It did, yes. Uh, I learned recently that uh, if the ghost closes the book, like it, it throws it and, and, the, and the book closes, uh, that means that that is a telltale sign that uh, it is not a ghost writing ghost. I learned that a few months ago. I forgot. I think it was either on Insim's stream or Psycho's stream or one of their videos. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's neat information I did not know about. I don't know if they ever, how long that was a thing. I know the ghost would like fuck with the book and throw it sometimes, but I don't know if, uh, it, it throwing the book was a, a, a indication that it was not writing until recently, or I don't know for how long that was a thing. But I'm glad it's a thing now, because it can allow me to definitively rule out uh, evidence. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that you cannot definitively rule out, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a better spread. Oh, this is a Gorio, or a no bake. Oh, you piece of shit. What a clever little boy. Oh, wait, no, it did it. Uh, I got the first one. Okay, cool. We'll see if it appears again. Sometimes it can be like really slow freezing temps, a really slow freezing temp ghost hater. Or it can be really stubborn with fingerprints. Especially if it's a, if, if, if it is an obake, because they have the ability where they can hide their, their thing. I'm pretty sure it's an obake anyway. Uh, that would be ghost orb. Well, we haven't seen actual, we haven't seen ghost orbs, so. But I want to say it is, because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that this is a six digit hand. But the thing, the, the handprint was kind of fucked up, so maybe it's not.
To be fair, we would have seen ghost orbs. Oh, nope, there we go. I would have been a fool. I would have been a fool, Tater. It's a Gorio. Okay, we just need two more fingerprints. We have the bone, and we have the tarot card, and we have a photo of the ghost. Uh, you know what? Why not? We'll go out with a perfect game. Or at least try to. The last two solo fast streams that I've done, hilariously, I, uh, died. Or not died. Uh, I got the ghost wrong. Okay, so first things first is we need to get rid of these crucifixes. While also finding a suitable hiding spot. That's that's not a good hiding spot. I mean, we could just still hide in the garage anyway. Yeah, fuck. All right, god damn it. Okay. Wow! Only hiding spot is, is relatively close to the ghost. set on fingerprints. Okay, so I can clearly see. <clears throat> Good news is Gorios don't really wander all that much, so unless it changes its room, then we'd be kind of fucked. to get our sanity lower, Tater. Um, I think the Gorio hunts at 50. Or at 70. Correct. Gorio hunts at 50. So we need to lose 25% more sanity. And unfortunately, we have the monkey paw. Or is it tarot? Yeah. So... Our options for losing sanity are uh, limited, uh, unless we want to risk instant death. And I, I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, did you close that? No, fuck you. Don't close my goddamn thing. So the goal is going to be to try and lure the ghost to the kitchen. I didn't realize, oh yeah, I had to smudge it, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I had to smudge it. <coughs> and then I can loop it. And then, uh, yeah, get to the hiding spot. It's only two smudgy wudgies.
but we do need to lose sanity. <coughs> Hopefully this counts as dark. So higher tier, uh, so salt in phasmophobia now, especially when it's higher tier, um, has has additional benefits. Uh, tier, I forgot the specifics of tier two or tier three. One of them causes the ghost to turn around and walk away for a few seconds, and then the other one like basically cripples its movement for a few seconds. So it's a good self-defense tool now when it's tier uh two or tier three salt and we have tier two i don't remember which one it is but either way the idea is like that's kind of like a primo looping spot so like if you're being chased by a ghost and you're confident in your abilities to evade the ghost like loop it uh that's a great spot and covering that area with salt makes it easier. Actually, I just realized something. If it kills the breaker, I want to beeline to the breaker. Because previously, your only defense during a hunt was a smudge. That's it. A lot of people have the misconception that the crucifix will, will do something to stop the ghost during a hunt, but no, it just prevents a hunt. I still gotta remember to do the um, the Faz clone power hour sort of thing, where I revisit all the Faz clones. Maybe Obsidian will finally work. I was very upset. I was so excited to play it, and then I couldn't couldn't get past the main menu. I'm sure there's others that I've missed, but I ha I haven't been keeping up with the fast clones. Alright, I might regret this. I'm going to see what my sanity is like. Oh no, we're getting we're getting close. We're at fifty four. So you just gotta lose uh five to six percent more sanity and then it can hunt. Ghosts can also tell where you are based off of uh, your electronics, if you have electronics on and equipped. So that's why I have my flashlight, so it knows that I'm over in this general area, hopefully. When the hunt starts, so it doesn't like faff around there. Because the whole idea is I need to repel it when it's chasing me. So I need it to come over here. Uh, normally I would have tried to like hang out around where the ghost room is so it can easily see me and then I'd like smudge it and then like run here or into the basement but basement and the garage do not have great hiding spots so my only really my only real available option is that hiding spot close by that or I just continue to loop it uh, and I don't feel like looping it entirely yeah there we go Hunt's over.
just in case. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, you pussy. You lost. He's all butthurt. He's like, hey, how dare you, dude? How dare you, man? I was like, you know, I'm just trying to do my job. Be a ghost. And you're like, mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Hopefully I can do like a proper, proper stream tomorrow. That's not, uh, just short solo fast. Things have been a little tricky with uh, prepping for the move and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send you all on over to Tori. I was doing some party animals and she's talking about her TwitchCon experience. So, y'all take care of yourselves, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and I will catch you all hopefully tomorrow. Tater, you have a safe flight. Goodbye.